The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I believe we have J.C. Parrots of All Star Charts on the line. J.C., how you be? <laughs> What's up, Larry? <laughs> Living the dream, baby, on the green side of the grass. I am posted a chart here that uh, I think the folks have a great deal of interest in, and that is the Bitcoin that you've uh, put out. You want to tell the folks what you're looking at here and what your feeling is about head and shoulders? Yeah, I mean, listen, you know, throughout my career, it's been funny because I've been observing markets for almost two decades now. Um, you've been doing it uh, for exponentially greater amount of time. So I'm sure you have also noticed um, that markets trend, right? Prices trend. There's a higher, much, much higher likelihood for the price of an asset to continue moving in the direction that it's already going than for it to just miraculously turn around and go in the opposite direction, right? So... Mm -hmm. By, by looking for head and shoulders tops, essentially you're defeating the entire purpose of what we're doing as technicians, which is recognizing and identifying the direction of primary trends. So oftentimes <laughs> what might appear to be a distribution pattern ends up really just being a consolidation within an ongoing uptrend uh, that tends to continue in that. So when you see these head and shoulders, quote unquote, tops, particularly when they break down below their neckline, which is, you know, the support, the lower end of that particular price pattern and then quickly reverses and gets back above that neckline uh, the 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 explosive resolutions uh, Larry are are some really profitable ones if you're on the right side of that oh amen to that following the trend is your friend there's no question about that and also it's about risk control now I have another one here that I think the folks will have a really interest in and this is this tech resources uh, that you've had you're showing the trend in this and uh, you want to tell the folks what what the in fact I've never seen it for us so you could describe to us what that dollar sign T-E-C-K is and the fact that it's breaking out above this uh, all these old highs and stuff and stayed there for quite a while yeah, definitely. And just to be clear, um, on the uh, on, on the Bitcoin, the idea is to be long above that neckline, which happens to be fifty nine thousand approximately. So if we're above that, I think the squeeze is on. I think it would be irresponsible not to be long um, uh, Bitcoin. Okay. And same that thing makes... with copper, by the way. We saw copper at the beginning of the month. You know, again, potential head and shoulders top. Everybody was calling it out, and we just saw an epic, epic squeeze. Uh, I can imagine probably something similar. Uh, happening in Bitcoin. But again, only above 59,000 is that valid. Uh, all right, so let's talk about uh, uh, tech resources. So this is T-E-C-K. Uh, you like that one, huh, Larry? Yeah, yeah, I'd never heard of it before, so give me a little schooling on it. I, I'm interested in it. And yeah, other so folks are too. <laughs> Canadian basic materials is the idea. Uh, all sorts of base metals, you know, like zinc and uh, copper and things of that nature, steel making, coal, uh, it's a uh, 15 billion dollar company, so I, you know, to me that's right in that sweet spot, right? Mm -hmm. the, the the sweet spot of uh, of market capitalization, in my opinion, uh, because yeah. it's big enough where it's legit. It's not a small cap anymore, uh, but it's only 15 billion. Mm -hmm. So in the whole scheme of things, that might as well be zero, uh, because mm -hmm. that just leaves you so much upside appreciation to get to 100, right? So th these things yeah. could double. They could double again, and they're still not that big. So I really like that a lot. Yeah. In this case, we're well, looking at a materials company. Yeah. You're not going to get the exponential yeah. growth of, of something like a software stock, but you're not going to get that volatility either. Um, mm -hmm. So Tech Resources, T-E-C-K, Vancouver-based, and um, you know mm -hmm. I'm looking at about 30 bucks. So if we're above 30, well, I like tech long. Below 30, I think you leave it alone. Well, that's pretty good, and that's also give you commodity play too, doesn't it? No doubt about it. Uh, if you believe yeah. in the in the commodity super cycle story, which we happen mm -hmm. to, if you believe, you know, you're looking at six dollar copper, one hundred and fifty dollar oil, which we happen to, there are a lot of different ways to take advantage of that. 
Uh, higher interest rates are also pointing to financials in general doing well. So when you think about financials, when you think about natural resources, if that doesn't scream Canada, then I don't know what does, right? So some Canadian mm -hmm. exposure I think makes sense. You're getting the basic material exposure, as you mentioned before. And then the best of all that, forget all that stuff. The best part is that the risk reward is very much skewed in our favor because if we're not above 30, we do not want to be long. And um, so the risk is well defined. And if we're right, it's a double, right? Mm -hmm. Strong. Yeah. Time. Speaking of doubles, we've got Amazon on the line here. What's happened to that uptrend? I mean, it looks like it's under a little bit of pressure here. Larry, I got to tell you. You know, when I, we analyze the sell side community, you're familiar with the sell side community uh, throughout your career, um, most yeah, certainly. Yeah. And, and I live on be, I live uh, on herders. I live on that block. I live on that block, JC. <laughs> they're, they're herders, are they not? Uh, they so, love their uh, herding yeah. mentality. These fundamental yeah. analysts, don't they, Larry? Yeah, pretty much. You know, what and, do you think? And particularly when they're really hurting, like they they tend to herd in general, but when they're really really hurting, um, man. Uh, it can be really, really powerful. So as it turns out, there are 49 sell-side analysts that cover Amazon, 49. And mm -hmm. as it turns out, every single one of them has a buy recommendation. Not a single analyst on Wall Street has a sell recommendation. Uh, by the way, and this has been the case for some time. And as it turns out, uh, Amazon is making new 18-month lows on a relative basis. Uh, the herding is strong with this one, Larry. Yeah, they must be after him for something. I don't know what, but he's no he, longer the richest man in the world. Be now. More wrong. They're like economists, right? When they all get yeah. together and they're all believe the same thing, take the other side. Take the mm -hmm. other side. Well, that's really good. Now, there's one other one here that I know the folks here uh, spend a lot of time with, and that's discretionary uh, income versus the, the staples. And I wanted to bring that to the folks' attention. You've got a really good explanation here of the strength of this. This is a really an incredible strength. You have to pay attention to this one for sure. Larry, you know, when, when, we, when we look at the consumer, you've got discretionaries and staples, right? So discretionary, where do we spend our discretionary income? Automobiles, um, you know, housing, retailers, mm -hmm. right? Those are consumer discretionary. When you think of mm -hmm. consumer staples, these are things that we're going to buy regardless of how good or bad the economy is. Things, you know, we're still going to smoke cigarettes and drink beers and Coca-Cola <laughs> and we're still going to brush our teeth and wash our dishes. Those are all the consumer staples, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And they could tr be tracked using the ticker symbol XLP. XLY would be the consumer discretionaries. Mm -hmm. XLP would be the consumer staples. Uh, as I mentioned, names like Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, uh, Philip Morris, Mondelez, right? Estee Lauder, Colgate, Palm Olive. Those mm -hmm. are the consumer staples as opposed to the consumer discretionaries, like I said. Obviously, Amazon, Tesla, Home Depot, McDonald's, Nike, Lowe's, Starbucks, you know the names, TJ Maxx, right, mm -hmm. Target. Those are the consumer discretionaries, where we're spending that discretionary income. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Now, as good. it turns out, a, a large majority of, of, of assets are allocated from the long-only community, think mutual funds, and they can't short stocks. They can't uh, raise cash, right? They have <laughs> mandates where they need to be fully invested in long U.S. stocks, uh, or whatever kind of stocks, um, no matter what. And the way that they outperform is, the way that they get their bonuses is by outperforming their benchmark, S&P 500, Russell 3000, whatever the case may be. They believe that the market's going higher, they're gonna overweight those consumer discretionary stocks that do well when stocks in general are doing well, they outperform, and, and you don't need okay. the, the toothpaste and stuff like that, right? Yeah, JC, we have to pay a few bills. Can you stay with us for about another five minutes and then we'll let you go? Pay the bills, Larry, go get them. Right back. J.C. Pants for the All-Star Charts. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with J.C. Parrots of All Star Charts. And we have a question, J.C. It's personal. Do you yeah. mind? What does the yeah. J.C. stand for? J.C. stands for Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, that sounds like it has a little bit of a of a Spanish flavor. You're you're Cuban, though, aren't you? That's exactly right. My family came from uh, Spain to Cuba in the 1800s. Uh, wow. And then when uh, shit hit the fan in the uh, early 60s, they came out to the United States, moved to Miami, and I was yeah. born in the 80s. Yeah, I've, uh, I have I love the uh, Cuban community. We go to Longboat Key in Florida. They have a really great Cuban Cuba, uh, Cuban community there. And I have uh, four students that have been from Cuba that uh, do very well. Now, I'll get back to business here. We're talking about the worst six months of the year. What are you trying to tell the folks with this one, my friend? Well, I think, uh, you know, to finish the point about consumer discretionaries and staples, you know, when markets are doing well, discretionaries are outperforming staples and when stocks are under pressure you see the exact opposite the market doesn't give us many cheat codes but i believe that that is certainly one of them that has helped us for many many years uh, at least half mm -hmm. my career when i finally realized that to be the case so everybody out there listening it's a great ratio that if it's diverging with the major indexes stocks are probably in trouble um mm -hmm. all right and they're not by the way discretionaries are making new <laughs> new all-time highs relative to staples confirming mm -hmm. that yes in fact stocks are in an uptrend and what's really interesting is that we're just coming up now as we're recording this october the 28th so we're almost done with october uh halloween mm -hmm. uh, my friend is the last day of the worst six months of the year uh when stocks tend to struggle the most and as it mm -hmm. turns out november through january are historically the best three month period of the year the journalists love reminding everybody to sell in May and go away, but you have to remember to buy in November, right? Or as my, uh, like as my friend Jeff Hirsch likes to say, uh, buy in October and get yourself sober, right? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> 
All right. Now, listen, my friend, we want to have you back on again in a few weeks. And I tell you, I can tell you with a lot of uh, enthusiasm here, I've met a lot of people in this business over the past couple of decades I've been doing this. And I've met very few with your talent and your enthusiasm. So you're on the right track. And, uh, you know, just remember to use stops. as That's what got me in trouble when my learning phase began. So uh, oh, you're, you're I, doing I great. Just keep I up the work. That, just keep up the good work. Yeah. No, you really have. You're you're very special. Remember, all I know is that I know nothing, as the great Socrates yeah. talks, right? Yeah, Don't forget yeah, amen. amen to that, my friend. But listen, have a great day. I know you're really busy. Thanks for squeezing us in. We'll have you in sometime in November if you don't mind. You got it. Take care of yourself, Larry. You bet. Okay. That's Juan Carlos Peretz for All Star Charts. Okay. Let's move on here to take care of a couple pieces of business here that we've been looking at. Uh, yesterday, we were looking at a couple of trades that we – I did the one trade, of course, with the, uh, with the Microsoft – and uh, I'm just going to do a quick review here. That's the end of it. No more trades. I'm not going to do any more because I am not getting a lot of feedback. So there won't be any more of these. Here you go. You can see here we went up to that 1.618 expansion at 324. I said to sell it there, put a stop at 327. Today it got down to 321, which would have been the first profit objective. If I were in this trade and I'm not, what I would do is I would put my stop at 324 and let it ride. That's what I do. I'd be in a free trade and the reason for that free trade is microsoft is one of the dow stocks and these dow stocks i know nobody can believe this but i really believe that we're up here in the end uh the aisles of the three drive pattern here in the dow jones industrials and we'll see if it's uh see if it's going to keep on going there's a couple of other things oh by the way on the tesla if you remember on the tesla yesterday we were looking at tesla I believe me, these were paper trades, folks. I don't trade tests at all, but someone was asking the question. Uh, I'll do the next flix, uh, Netflix in a minute. But you'll see here we had a beautiful ABCD on a 15. And this is a $1,000 stock, folks. So for move 80 bucks, it's no big deal. You can see that it pulls down. You know, right to the 61% uh, retracement, the whole move down there at 1030. And then, of course, the news comes out today that uh, the Vatican has bought 500 uh Tesla's and it uh, started to get the move market higher. Let's move this up here so we can all see it. And that's another ABCD. Nothing more than ABCD. That's all I look at. And a couple other little things, but that's the main thing that I'm paying very close attention to uh, as we go here today. The other one we uh, mentioned yesterday about the importance of what's happening with the 61% retracement in Apple. And you can see what happened today in Apple once it went above that 150.50. It literally, that is a, a breakout to the upside. And you know that your next level is going to be up at about that 153.27. It's probably hit that already would be my guess given the strength in the uh, the NASDAQ. So if uh, the Apple hits 153.57, I would presume that would be the uh, high of the day. And if it were, even though it's a $153 stock, I believe in 786 is so much, I would be selling it at that level, 153.47 with a buy stop at 155.47. Because you can ri risk just a small amount doing that. To me, that's uh, that's worth the effort. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. When we come back, uh, oh, we've got a caller from uh, Georgia. Dan, what can we do for you? Hey, Larry, what's going on with aluminum? Uh, it's used for Coca-Cola and beer and a few other things. I have not seen it. Uh, Dan, I, I hate to put myself in this, uh, you know, in the in the, the sandbox, but I haven't seen an aluminum chart in 15 years, so I really haven't seen. It. Is it straight up or straight down? Straight down. Straight down. Well, that's a sign that something somebody not buying a lot of cans. That would be my guess. I, 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 I'll look at that. fact is, it's a very interesting because I watch, I, I watch steel occasionally. I watch copper all the time, platinum and all that, but not aluminum. But uh, that's like interesting. Because a loop, a it's a loop. How much? 5% 5 5 down. Woo! Half, well, what's a week been, and a half what, been murdered. I will do my best to pull up a chart during the break here, and I'm going to talk about it when we come back from the break because I think it's something to we need to pay attention. Up oh, here we go. Mr. Z's on top of this like a man with a cheap suit. Thanks, Mr. Z. We're going to bring this up here and let you take a quick look at it now. Hopefully, we'll be able to see it. Oh, my goodness. Boy, you're not joking. This thing has got hit like a rocket. Just get the uh, move this so we can see where we are here. 
the 60 day here get this up to take a look boy you're right this thing is uh, there's something wrong uh, with with consumption that's all i can say because that that is uh, it's going from 1450 to below a 1200 in just a matter of uh two weeks boy that's a huge drop something's not right that's for sure i don't know what it means but uh we'll see yeah, I hope okay. that helps. If I could just, um, I'll, I'll just listen. I'll just take the answer off the air. But yeah, it looks like it's breaking a down trend from you know going back from uh, last. Oh April. yeah. Well, you can see here. Look at the stock. Trend. Yeah, just looking at the stock levels, they've dropped from uh, from in October. Uh, they they've just had a per precipitous drop. You know, in other words, they they don't even want to own the stuff. You know that that means they're they're expecting it to go a lot lower because if there was if they thought it was going to go higher, warehouses would start stocking it and they're getting rid of it. You know that's uh, that reminiscence of when oil went from 144 down to uh, you know uh, what thirty dollars a barrel back in 2008. So, hey, thanks for calling in. It's a good good question, Dan. We really appreciate it. Go Braves, go Braves. Thanks, buddy. Bye bye. You bet. And also, I like the Houston Astros, too. We'll be right back, folks. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the Australian dollar and the U.S. dollar. You notice here this is a daily. Uh, we're right at the 50% retracement. That is a 1.27 expansion of the BC leg. It's also a 50% from the high that we made back in February. Uh, very strong. We're sitting right at the number right now. So uh, any move uh, 20, 30 pips above that tells you that we're heading up to the 61% retracement. Now, the, the time difference between the AB and the CD leg, the CD leg has taken longer to get to that level. And the fact that it's testing it the second time, we did it a week ago, it means that there's a little bit of a probability here, slightly weighted, that we could go higher. But it's based on 30 pips, folks, $300. These things are so accurate that they work within just a few pennies of where they're supposed to be or you, they just don't work at all. But this is one actually perfect. Look at the bottom. You know, look at your uh, 786. The difference between 0 0.84 and the 786 is, uh, you know, like $150. Uh, and then it, from there it moves four grand. So these things are very accurate. The 78% level, uh, if you look at the high back in February and then the retests in May, there again, that's a perfect 78% level. So those are the things that we're paying attention to this morning. And uh, with that, now we also want to take a look at the uh, Canadian dollar for our good friend Mike up in the old, uh, well, one second, up in the northwest of Canada. And we'll get, here's the Canadian dollar here versus the U.S. dollar. We'll get this up here one second. And uh, we've got a caller from uh, Philly, Mr. Jeff. Give me one second. We'll be right with you, Jeff. Hold on. Uh, you'll see here we're below the 61% retracement. We had a five-day rally, and it didn't go anywhere, folks. I think this is heading down to the 122 level. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, that's gonna, it's already violated the 618, went back, had a five-day rally, and it's heading lower. That's the way it looks to me. And now we have Jeff on the line about Mr. Gartley himself. What can we help you with, young man? Hi, Larry. Um, I have a very uh, specific question about the Gartley pattern. So let's say you have a you know perfect Gartley pattern, but price comes down and goes just beyond the uh, the X point. So that's you know where I get out, and now I'm looking for it to go to the 1.272 and set up a, a butterfly. But um, I've been seeing this a lot lately. It, it doesn't get to the 1.272. In fact, it, it doesn't go very far past the X point at all, and then it reverses and comes back up into the pattern you know so my question is uh, how do you handle that do you just pretend it didn't break the x point or it's just not <laughs> traded at all <laughs> no, you can't, it's one thing you can't do you can lie and cheat and steal but you can't pretend <laughs> so no if it does that what you have to assume that there was just a large order setting there and uh that just moved it a perfect example of that was that we've been watching hogs for several days you know down around that 73 level well we broke down to uh, 70 uh, 195 yesterday and all of a sudden today we're trading above 73.50 well that probably means there was a big order down there that got filled below the price we were looking at so that's how you handle it i find that these numbers that they're so they're so spot on that if they're not spot on i i really i really have to challenge uh, whether the pattern is correct i mean i'm talking within a hundred dollars i'm not talking about anything really significant well i'm so i'm sorry i didn't really understand how you trade it so you're saying once it breaks that x point you do not trade it no, 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 no. I'm not saying that I don't trade it. I just watch what happens because if it goes just beyond the X point by just a little bit, that just means there were some stops there. And uh, you have to take that into consideration, especially if the move. I'm going to give you a perfect example of it right now as we speak. Let me just 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 show you. And uh, this is what frustrates me the most in this business. I've been following so many things here because all the things happening in the financials. And I want to show the folks what I missed today. And the reason why I missed it is I had my my limit minder on at the 61% retracement. This is an hourly chart. This thing hit it three or four times, but it was in the middle of the night until this morning and the report came out. And there's your 61% retracement. It makes a lower low by one tick at 115.83. Uh, 115 and now it's trading $1,100, $1,200 higher. And I'm standing here raving a, a American flag, saying, "Where's my position? Where's my position?" I mean, that that is uh, that that's what frustrates me because you know everything was set up, uh, and I, I hope this is a good example of what I'm looking at because that's exactly what's been happening, you know. Right. Okay. So what you're saying is, if 
like in the case of the Gartley, if it breaks the X point by a little bit, but then it reverses, goes back in, then you might jump back in and continue to trade it as a, uh, you know, looking for the well, uh, point six one eight of the AD. Yes, you have to you have to do the ratios and the patterns. The ratios have more strength than the patterns. So, but you're you're trying to be perfect, Jeff. And this is this you're not going to be perfect. You're going to be close. It's like tiddlywinks tiddly and hand grenades. You're going to be really close, but you're not going to be perfect. So don't try to be too perfect. Okay. Uh, Jeff, I hear a sigh in your voice. If you would like, give me a call. <laughs> no, really, I'm serious. Give me a call. My yeah. number is 520-555-5555. No, it's actually 520 241 <laughs> Five seven nine three two four one five seven nine three, and I'll try to. We can get together on Skype, and maybe I'll show me an example, and I'll see how I would handle it. But believe me, you know you can't be you can't be perfect. That's the that's the whole thing. I mean, you can be close, but you can't be too perfect. That's for sure. Okay, uh, I don't want to okay. take too much time. All right, well, no, thank no, you for no. the invitation. I'm going to take you up on it. Okay, and uh, and if if I when I see the number coming in from Philly, I'll probably be gone. I'm joking with you, Jeff. I will be here. <laughs> Give it a half hour after the show, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. All right. All right bye bye. Bad. I only do that for people from Philadelphia, folks. Folks, something really big has happened here. I have to share it with you. Maybe it means nothing. Maybe it doesn't. But here is, I wanted to show you this. This was what we featured in the newsletter this week uh, because of the fact that uh, if you'll go and look, I like to do it both ways, but I'm just going to do it the easy way. I'm just going to post this chart right here which is a four-hour chart, so it covers a long time. We're looking at four months here. You can see the three drive to a bottom pattern, pattern here. I posted that into the room. Now, let's try that again, Larry. Into the newsletter saying, get ready for a rally, because this was a beautiful three drive on a daily basis. It was also perfect here, as you can see. And that's exactly what we happened, had happening. But one of the reasons why we are friendly to the bonds this week was the fact that the bonds, look at the bond chart. Now, this is a four-hour chart, okay, on the on the Treasury bonds. You can't find a three drive to a bond. You, can't even, you can find a double bottom there that doesn't quite make it there just a few days ago. But this is the same four-hour chart, and you can see what's happened. Now, look, the Treasury bonds from the July high – made the 382 retracement to there at one at 16104 today that was the that was the 382 retracement of that move it made that in in a matter of 10 days and look with the notes the, the the notes are so far away i'm getting too excited here <laughs> look how far look how far away the notes are from a 382 just get this up here and take a look at it. this this means something I don't know what it means. All I know is that the bonds are stronger than the than the notes. That means the Fed's probably in buying bonds. That would be my guess. But uh, that certainly isn't a bullish chart. That that was actually a sell today. That was the trade of the day in the bonds. But uh, trade of the day was the euro, and I missed that one. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'm going to post a chart here of the uh, crude oil just to show you this was uh, coming into this week. This was our, going to be our trade of the week. If you remember, uh, we were selling it up here at the 8430 level. Uh, that was Sunday night. The market went above our stop level, which was 40 points. Then we went up and made a new high up at 8550. Then we had the sharp breakdown. If you'll notice the down sloping line there, folks, that first retracement there was a 78% retracement uh, right on the money. And so that was the first place that you'd want to be looking. I'll just bring this up to you uh, fresh so you can see it. But that would have been the first place that you had had a good chance for a, a low risk trade. And then, of course, the second one, uh, that was the one that came in at 84.20. That was a very short uh, term rally there where we got up to 84.20. From 84.20, we dropped down $3,500 $3, straight down uh, to 80.80. And now you'll notice today we're completing an ABCD pattern up here at that 82.60. We hit that spot on. It's already dropped $1,000. It's come back $400 from that. But this is a very, very active market. It trades off the numbers incredibly well. And so all you have to do is just be patient enough to wait for those, and that's what you're looking for. Regarding the Jeff's call about the trying to get perfect and stuff, folks, you see these all the time. They're, they're not always going to be perfect, but the whole thing about the patterns are risk control. You know, that's the whole thing that, that this, these things are based on. It's not the fact that they're predictable, which is good, but the fact that they're predictable when they're not predictable, that's telling you you're wrong and you got to get out of the way. That's the that's basically the bottom line. Now, if bonds would have gone above, you know, 161.15 or something like that, that was told me that, uh oh, this one's not working. But, you know, the bond trade uh, had a really nice uh, move in it and it's, you know, continued to go down, you know, go down all day. If we look at the bonds here, well, let's just let's get on to something else that I that I want to talk to to you about. And that is the the soybean market, because. This is the January soybeans that we've been watching for quite some time. We're seeing a picture here in soybeans, uh, a little different what they're saying in the uh, saying here. Hold on one second here. You'll notice that we're at a 61% retracement here yesterday. And then what we did, we came down uh, sharply. And then last night, we rallied up, made another 61% retracement, and immediately dropped 13 cents. This is not what we call bullish action, folks. 
this is really not because it, if it were really good, it would have taken off and it certainly didn't do that. All it did was rally up to the 78 percent level. And that's it. And that's why these numbers that when we were talking about Jeff, you know, I look at those numbers because mathematics precedes geometry is what uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Einstein said. And so when I see these numbers and the, the amount of slippage that I allow is a few hundred dollars. You know, that, that's really the, all the amount that you have to give. And when you stop to think about something, you know, soybeans has a contract that's worth 61000 and you're only risking a couple hundred dollars, uh, any farmer in the world would take that bet because you don't have to have capital. You don't have to have, you know, the uh, tractors and all the other stuff, the harvesting machines. You don't have to own the land. You don't have to buy the fertilizer, hire the people, you know, and uh, – so that's what it's all about. It's all about risk control. So we're going to be uh, doing a lot of that when we do the day trading session on November 10th uh, with uh, Tommy Terrific, Tommy Hugard. And uh, he'll be on with us for about an hour that day, I believe, uh, doing some teaching and then doing some trading. And uh, we'll have some fun making some money. The goal of that day is to, A, make money. And we've done three of them. They've all been good. And uh, we're hopefully the fourth one will be the same way. And uh, we'll also be doing some teaching and giving some people some ideas of, you know, coming moves. Because these markets are going to get so volatile soon. They're already volatile, but they're going to get even more volatile, folks. The public has not been afraid yet. And when that happens, you're going to see some – it could be in the cryptocurrencies. It could be in anything. But when that fear comes in, and it will – uh, the question is, will it be in my lifetime or not? But when it does, it's going to be some uh, – It'll be in the news, that's for sure. We'll keep going in what's going on right now. So that's what we're seeing today. Uh, we'll uh, have any questions. It's 877-927-6648. Uh, Al is telling me there is one line open if anybody has any questions. So we'd be happy to answer them if we can. And uh, those are some of the things that we're paying, you know, really close attention to here uh, today. And uh, a lot of things happening because the market, you know, the Dow drops 300 and then comes back 250. I mean, you know, and, and does it on the open pretty much. So there's volatility out there uh, for everybody. I can see that euro just keeps going higher and higher and higher. And I'm sitting here. Uh, kicking myself and it gave you no chance to folks it just took off like a rocket and never even never even budged i mean i was looking at this 15 minute chart it's just been a vertical route i'll just show you what i'm looking at here and i the buy would have been at uh, 80 85 50 and the low was 80 uh, 185 uh, 82 so there would have been a very very of course you don't know that's not going to go through that but we took out the lows of yesterday by one tick and then took off right at the time when the there's a report in there and that's the ideal time because if you're wrong you're going to get stopped out right away if you're right look what happened and i'll show you what happened you'll be able to see it yourself but for me to miss this uh, that that really bothers me and i can't blame the machine because i by the time i saw it this morning it printed that it hit the target or hit the alert button at ensign it hit it three times but i was not I either didn't hear it or I wasn't at the machine when that was happening. I was at the machine when the report came out, but by then the the the, the cat was out of the bag and there was nothing you could do. Uh, but the only thing you could have done and that would have been had a stop in there. Uh, but I don't I don't like to chase markets, so I put this in the I woulda coulda shoulda <laughs> variety. So that's it. All right, let's move on here. To, oh, by by the way, uh, tomorrow what do I have tomorrow? I gotta. I might have a very special guest tomorrow. Mr. Twentyman might come with us tomorrow. I talked. I talked with him today, and uh, he's getting ready to. Uh, uh, he's buying a new place and stuff. But let me get back to this euro for a second, because I'm still thinking that we're going to have. Let me get the four-hour chart and see the euro. This is the euro that we're looking at on the four-hour chart, and I want to do the. I'll do the pattern here. To show you what we're watching here, hold on one second. We'll get this up here. Yeah, we're we're going higher. We're going to go up to this 117 area without any trouble at all uh, in the euro. Just give me a second. We have Mr. Z on the line. Mr. Z, what it be? How you doing, buddy? I'm very well, Larry. Say, so, um, in the closing uh, section of your show, I wanted to ask you about uh, Comex Silver. Sure. You haven't mentioned we haven't you haven't talked about it uh, for a couple of days. Thought I would uh, bring this up uh, up in uh, front wow. and center uh, just to let you know I'm uh, holding 
a core Comex D silver position from about a buck lower. We're 24.19. I'm wondering, as you look at your four-hour and hourly charts, sure, what you see uh, likely to happen. Well, Z, my my hope is that uh, we can get it down to this 1.8 expansion down about 90 cents from where we are right now at 23.38. You know, we've been in a sideways range here for the last three days. The fact today that, you know, when the gold popped up there to 18.12, you know, silver didn't even budge. So to me, I think the bias is to the downside, my friend. Whether I'm right or not, I won't know for a day or two, but that's always the case. <laughs> Very good. Thanks, Larry. Hey, thanks, Mr. Z. Anytime, my friend. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted both the chart of the euro, and I believe I posted the chart of gold. I want to do both of them. You can see what happened in the euro today. Uh, it just took off. Uh, boy, that 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 really. Uh, I don't I don't miss those very often because I trade the euro all the time. Haven't been in it for the last couple of days. I had the limit miners going, but. That bus left without me. The other buses were okay. Anyway, let's take a look here at the gold. Uh, we've been in this really tight trading range. You can see here we busted out of this range a long time ago, whereas silver has not. 
But uh, I think any move, if we get above 1825, uh, we have to start considering gold for something really serious, folks. The, one of the problems with gold market, it's a paper market with gold. I don't know if you folks know that, but if you had a GLD contract and you were one of the few people that were able to get you know, delivery of it, I think they can only deliver about 0.03% of all the, the gold that's traded out there. So it's basically a paper game. And that's not the way gold used to be. You know, gold used to be backed they had to be backed by this and the futures markets are supposed to be backed by this but that gld which is an etf is not so uh, that could be interesting i know uh, some of you folks follow jim rickards from uh what's the name of that name of that group uh, agura agura uh, publishing and of course he's they're they're talking about fifteen thousand dollar an ounce gold and uh that would be about 15,000. That would be 100 times what I bought my original Cougar Rands for. Wow, that'd be a lot. Anyway, uh, we'll see what happens with that. But we'll get some of it. I haven't been long gold for three or four weeks now. I've been trying, and every time I try, I uh, don't quite get there. Uh, we had one nice profit in it about 10 days ago, but that was the last one. But the other markets have been treating us uh, relatively good, crude oil, soybeans, and uh, the euro has been good to us except for today. Anyway, that's that's what we're watching. Tomorrow, we'll see you on the flip side of this. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And do something for your, for your neighbors, folks, because it's a jungle out there, and uh, they need help. So may God bless. Mm -hmm.